I was excited. I had a son. All the manly things I've done in my life, I can pass down to my son. It's my firstborn. We just felt completely blessed. My wife's a nurse, and she was noticing that he looked a little gray, that he was wheezing a lot. He was fighting for his life. He would stop breathing when he was sleeping. He was choking, gasping for air. After some diagnostic tests, they found out that he had a double aortic arch, which is a congenital heart disease. I was thinking, uh, I wish it happened to me and not him. I think I would just heal him and he wouldn't have to go through the pain. We drove to Children's in New Orleans. When we got to the hospital, we had a very strong group of friends who surprised us and showed up to pray. They prayed with us. We had complete peace. Paul and I just knew he had a plan the whole time. We felt like God prepared us for that moment. They prepped him for surgery. I want to say it took three hours in the morning. We cut him through the back. Everything they explained went smooth. We were in the hospital for eight days. He had a tube down his throat that was helping him breathe. I think that's hard for anybody to see a child in that state. Uh, so it was a lot of mixed emotions. It was a bit of a roller coaster. So the last day we were just, we were so excited. We left the hospital, we made it through. We brought him in for a one year checkup because Paul and I wanted confirmation that everything was totally fine. And they redid an echo and the cardiologist said, mom, don't come back. He is totally fine. While we were in the hospital, we made a verbal promise to each other to start something called Porter's Promise. So we go back every year and pray with the family members on the unit. And we make up baskets and bring gift cards. And then he uses those situations as our testimony. Every time we look at Porter, he is our testimony to what God does. I think sometimes he allows things like that to happen so that we can press into him and get to know him better. Trust in God, and he's good, and he has a plan.